Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. Uh, we are in the factory and today I want to challenge myself to paint a graffiti that is maybe as cool as this one for example or as cool as the graffiti that I show you right now. And the challenge for me is to paint such a graffiti in just one hour. So we will set a timer. Everything is already prepared. Um, this, camera is, this camera is running right now too. Everything is already prepared. We got the, um, the green fill-in. I want to make a green fill-in. Um, this reef color will be the outline. We got some background colors. I want to have a pinky um, background with a, a dark, dark red Vampirella um, drop shadow. And I already pre-mixed um, a background color for the spray gun because I want to make it all. Because I think that the spray gun is a real big help to make real fast full color backgrounds. And a little bit excited. <laughs> oh man, painting fast is not, not my thing, but I would say we set the timer right now and um, we just start. And a hello from voiceover hey, small. Siri, stell den timer auf eine Stunde. This was my best German. Okay, time is running. Let's start. <coughs> Yo, and because I'm so damn clever, <laughs> okay, because I'm so damn clever, I use Reef. This will be the outline color at the end as well, and I use it for the first lines. Because the last time I was so stupid, I took the fill-in color for the first lines and when you make a fill-in in the first lines, suddenly the first lines are gone. And if you use the outline color or a similar color that is similar to the outline and definitely different to the fill-in, um, you can see the first lines better and you know better where to put the outlines at the end. Yo, the S is still pretty crooked, what, but I will fix that during the process. And damn, I was so nervous. I was really nervous. The letters that I paint are absolutely not new in any way. They are the basic, super standard, regular small letters, but I really I didn't want to make any experiments while doing this one hour challenge. Because I want to put in all the effects there. I want to put there the drop shadow, the, the shadows within the block. I want to have uh, highlights, blinky stars, everything. And this is pretty, pretty hard. And the M and O, they are sticking so much into each other that the right leg of M is going through the hole of O. And I will um, make all the important parts of the letters visible with my slicing technique. Now the E, last letter, not even three minutes in. Bam.
and I decided that I would go with a round top part uh, with a serif, same as the S and the bottom part of the E will be the mirrored part, bottom part of the S so that this will be absolutely mirrored in an axis symmetry, pretty balanced. <clears throat> Usually I would make the first lines with a first line can and an eraser can. In this case, I would use a white eraser can to erase first lines, but um, yeah, there is no time for erasing first lines. I have just to make them directly and erase with the fill in later. This will cause some problems that I usually would not have. Yo, and you can see. Sorry, and you can see that uh, the bottom part of E is so much thicker and longer, but I liked it, so I adjusted the S as well, so that it is, that the whole piece is balanced again. And I already decided where to put um, the section lines and the slicing. like this another section line another section line Five minutes in. Oh, and there is still a difference between the bottom part of the E and the bottom part of the S. Um, the E gets a second of these endings. <clears throat> Analyzing. Good. Good one. And Smo decided that it is good. Just adding these chips at the outside, left side and at the right side, two chips as well for the balance. Good. Vanishing point. I decided to make the vanishing point into the middle so that all blocks are facing to the middle because this makes um, less work because most of the blocks will be will disappear behind the letters. Always when the vanishing point is outside of the of the piece you have to paint so much more blocks and when you put the vanishing point in the middle you don't have to paint that much blocks this was just to save time yeah and this is my beloved um, spray gun 5250 Yo, and I want to say that I pitched down the annoying sound of the spray gun um, because I know some of you use my videos to fall asleep and I just don't want to annoy you or wake you up. So please continue sleeping. Good night. <laughs> I'm still doing experiments with this spray gun. Um, But this time the color does not drip as much as it did in the last raw video. So I made the color a little bit thicker, um, but I'm still doing experiments. 
I know that there is this uh, super expensive um, spray gun that is so much better, but I already like this one and I am convinced that I, even if I'm probably not that much faster or even not faster at all than doing the background with a roll, with a paint roll, but I save paint. I feel the background a little bit sloppy, to be honest. There will stay some um, more whitish spots. I could have made a, another layer over it, but I was hurrying. So two minutes in with the background. I filled the container of the spray gun with about 800 milliliters of, um, of this uh, red color. And you can see how much you can fill with just one container of, um, of background color. The, the bucket paint that I put in there um, is mixed with, I would say, 35% water. And the paint that is in there is um, 80% just red color from the hardware store and red or red paint from the hardware store mixed with 20% bitumen. To make it darker. Was, or was it 10%? Something like that. <clears throat> and I thought it was empty, but you can see there is still so much paint in there. It was just the, the, um, the pipe. You can see that there is this pipe from the spray gun and it was facing to the front. But if you're painting above you, the pipe should face towards you. So there's the water. Shake it a little bit. Five minutes for the background already.
But I have to admit that I was a little bit afraid to, to make too much um, paint, too much layers of paint on top of each other, because um, I didn't want to have these ugly drips in there again. If I would just have taken one more minute, one more minute to fill. <sighs> but you don't want to waste time at the beginning. Okay. Okay, when I calculated it in the right way, I it, it took me six minutes 40 to mm -hmm. fill the whole background. It's not that bad. And I, I used about 750 milliliters of um, of very thin mixed bucket paint with water. <laughs> Next time I will definitely um, check the caps first and don't have such a cap chaos. Because I just didn't find a nice level 6 fat cap and I don't, don't know what kind of fat cap I used there, but there are definitely thicker ones. I think this is a level 4 cap or something. And... Um, yeah, this is when you are nervous and when you are... In a hurry, you make weird decisions. And I just took the first cap that is not a soft cap and not a skinny cap. And I knew that this, I think it's a, or it's a black cap with an orange dot. It's such a medium fat cap. I don't know. I, I'm really not that good in this caps thing. <clears throat> For years, I was just using the um, pink dot fat cap, and the white cap with the pink dot, and for um, outlines, I was using the McLean skinny cap. And I'm changing recently between the McLean skinny cap and the level one cap, because the McLean skinny, skinny cap, it clocks so fast. Yeah, and I didn't, I did not even shake the cans before. This is something that I can do in the next one hour challenge as well. And I will use just pastel tones because they're covering so much better. try to let the first line still be a little bit visible and I use the, the fill-in color to erase all the mistakes like removing removing the vanishing point and painting a little bit over the first lines but I could have done it all more properly <coughs> Next color, 
Linden Green. Yo, and I fill the whole letters now with linen green. The whole top part will be in linen green. And I did not shake the cans enough. You will see in a few seconds how they change a little bit the colors. But pastels are covering so well. So well. Whoa, <laughs> what is going on? <clears throat> this was fast. And I try the whole time to fill just as enough as necessary so that it will look like it was all filled more or less properly at the end. Twenty minutes in. Just filling some holes here and there. Pink, pink. Pink, pink. Okay, this color is called pink, pink. Montana Cans has also pink light and pink. <laughs> and pink, pink. And I make a mistake. I wanted to paint the drop shadow. What are you doing there? Smo, don't be so nervous. Please. Concentration. Uh, uh, drop shadow. Yeah, you got it. Shit. Yeah, shit. shit. You're right. Make the drop shadow now. Drop shadow, drop shadow. So I use Vampirella, which is the darkest red tone. And... I paint a drop shadow always where the where the block the imaginary block of the letters touches the wall in a 45 degrees angle downwards or something like that because the shadow doesn't have to be right it just has to look right and as long as the shadows are more or less going into the same direction from the light source so um, when the shadow is going in a 45 degrees angle downwards to the right side the light source has to be in the upper left corner somewhere Because shadows are always on the opposite side of the light source. And I even paint on the floor. This gives this gives this graffiti this 3D effect a little bit more.
and another shadow on top of this ending of the O and that's it with the shadows fixing some um, parts that were not filled that good okay outlines with reef the cap that I used here is the level one skinny cap from Montana cans because it is definitely more reliable than um, the McLean skinny cap. Even if there is definitely coming more paint out of it, so you have to um, make the outlines faster than with the McLean McLean cap. But I have to hurry anyways, so no problem to make fast outlines. Yo, and there you can see that I noticed that it makes definitely more sense to make the um, shadows within the fill in before the outlines. And I really have to think a lot where are the letters slicing so that I don't forget a shadow. And surprise, surprise, I didn't forget any shadow this time, even if I was hurrying that much. Or I just didn't notice it until now. So as usual, please shut up and don't tell me what I forgot. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but I give my very best not to forget any shadows. and. It's the same like with the drop shadow that uh, is made from the piece on the background. When there is an, an, a letter that is a little bit higher than another letter because they are um, on top of each other, the, the letter on top makes a shadow downwards in a 45 degrees angle to the right side because it has the same light source like um, the whole piece has. It's always 45 degrees angle to the right. Oh, and I didn't fill properly. This is why I use lawn green to fill the left leg of M and adjust the S a little bit and the O and the right leg of M and make weird dots in the bottom part of E. I don't know why. This was stupid. Oh, and there is still a little bit of shadow missing. And this is all greenery. 60-50. The serif is slicing with the serif of, of M. Or the top part of the left leg of M. If I would if I would learn it once to make all outlines just once and not twice or three times on top of each other, what absolutely makes no sense. I was seeing a video from Vent, 
Uh, he has a graffiti YouTube channel as well. Does a lot of low budget productions and stuff. Super interesting. I can highly suggest you to check out Vent's small YouTube channel. And um, he has the same problem. And it's so funny. He told he told about it, and and I just thought, you're right. I. I do the same. I always make outlines two or three times on top of each other, even if there is no difference visible. Doing some cutbacks, refining some edges with the color linden green. And I continue with the blocks, filling in the block on top of S. This is one extra bar of S. And this is the top part of M, of the left leg. Boom. And we are nearly halfway through. But all the work is done. Fill in background, now only outlines and the sweet effects, shadows and stuff. Usually I think a little bit more while doing the blocks and I try not to paint so many um, layers on top of each other. But this time I just filled the whole block in reef um, to make the, the shadows on top of it because the, the overall situation was just too stressful. Even if it looks extremely chilled, how I'm painting there and so on. But usually I just, I take more tiny rests between stuff that I'm doing and I go some steps back and check what, what I'm doing next and so on. And it is like, you don't have enough time to think properly, so you have to do. And this is why I filled everything. To make this part look more clean. Oh, and I forgot a shadow with greenery, which is just w one value darker than lawn green, which is the bottom color of the fill-in. And my golden rule for, um, for the composition of the colors Composition of colors? Can I say it like that? Color composition, yeah. Is um, if I got a light fill in, the darkest color of the fill in, which is in this case uh, greenery, the shadow color within the fill in, 
The darkest color of the fill-in has to be lighter than the outline. Or if I work with a light outline and a dark fill-in, the lightest color of the fill-in has to be darker than the outline. This is important. If you follow this super easy rule, you will not ruin your, um, your graffiti with a wrong color choice because this is the only rule you have to think of. You can mix all colors with each other as long as the whole fill-in is lighter than a dark outline or darker than a light outline. Okay, and the last 25 minutes are running, but we are good in time. <gasps> oh, did you hear this sound? This is the DJI drone sound. Ah, so cool. <laughs> so I expect some epic drone shots of Tösa coming in. And the sound, the sound of the drone is uh, from my head cam, from the GoPro 8 that I'm wearing on my head, on my head. And you can see that the background, it could have been filled a little bit better. At the bottom, I went over it twice. This is pretty good. But at the top, I was just one time, um, th this is just one coat of this red background color. And there was even enough color in the spray gun left over to go over it twice or three times. But I was too much in a hurry. And this is why it is not filled properly. Oh. And I didn't like how this part of, of E, the bottom part of E, the, the curve was not nice. So I did some cutbacks with the linden green, which is covering so well. I don't know what I did there with the bottom part of E. It's crazy, crazy ugly. I will show it to you at the end of the video. That what I made such a big mistake over there. And at this point, I want to say a big thanks to my cameraman, Tösa. 
who's wearing a respirator as well because of the smell. <coughs> And at this moment, the whole wall is filled. No. This part is still missing. Just a little bit of block is still missing. And the whole wall is filled. Okay. Now we still got 21 minutes for extra stuff, for designs, for... 3D for shadows for blinky stars This is a pretty nice angle to be honest Still 20 minutes left. Oh, there is even the block still missing. Cutbacks here, cutbacks there, making everything clean. Make it really clean, come on, remove everything. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. What's next? Huh? Yeah. Tösa told me that regular people are always flying with drones on um uh, are just outside and he always has the hard conditions with so many pillars and a roof and a lot of trash laying around yo and the next color that I use now for um, for shadows is navy and for and pool I use pool for the highlights 
on the outlines. Yo. And this is navy. All holes are getting dark at the end. And as this block is facing to the vanishing point in the middle of the style, um, the hole will get right. At the right side, it will get dark. And all parts that are facing downwards to the opposite side of the um, light source are dark as well. And, and all outlines th that are facing into the direction of the light source, of course, they are a little bit lighter with pool. Pilsa told me that I would have still 20 minutes, but this is absolutely wrong. I just got 15 minutes or 16. All blocks that are facing downwards are dark. And all holes are enough. dark at the end. And all outlines that are facing upwards to the left side or to the top get a little bit of a highlight on it. This block is facing to the right side, so it's facing away from the light source, so it gets a little bit of black. And the right leg of M and the nose get both a little bit of highlight on the left side. Yeah, and this part is facing upwards, but there is still the S and the O on top of, of um, this ending of E and so they make a shadow on the ending on, on the block of the ending and you can make even the block of the S visible just with a little bit of of the navy shadow color and I show this kink So beautiful. Wobei Zeitraffer ja keinen Sinn macht, ne? Gut. Ich sag's ja nur. Pösa has put this camera on the floor and I told him that a time lapse would not make any sense and he said this is not a time lapse. He just likes this fish eye um, style. And maybe this angle gives the video some extra flavor. Yo, and, and I start to paint on the right side of the vanishing point. And this means that um, all holes are getting dark on the left side because the holes are facing to the left side over there. On the right side 
get dark on the left side because they are facing to the left side into the direction of the vanishing point while um, the highlights on the outlines they do not change at all because the outline has nothing to do with the vanishing point And somehow the nose of E has to make a shadow on the bottom part of, of the E, but yeah. Like I always say, it just has to look right, it doesn't have to be right. Just make something. Looks right! Looks right, all cool. And a little bit of shade, shadow with navy. Oh, we're getting close to the last 10 minutes. And now the battery. The battery of my camera on my head died. And I tried somehow to stop the timer, but <laughs> I didn't manage it with the gloves on my hand. So I decided, okay, let's change the battery real quick. even if I lose some seconds. Yo, and I decided that at this moment I want to start doing the section lines and the deadlines in the slicing, but as usual, I always do them with the tiny pink stencil cap, but as I'm so terribly prepared, of course I didn't clean, <laughs> I didn't clean the tiny pink stencil cap. And another clocked cap. Ah! And now see. This happens when your tiny pink stencil cap is not cleaned. But I just I just continued painting because I had I just didn't have any time for cleaning the pink stencil cap and somehow suddenly it worked. So that I could um, add all these thin lines section line section line another deadline of the slicing sup and of course i did them all with reef with the um Oh, don't we got any sound? What is going on there? Ah, okay. Sound is back. And now I use Can2 Cool Candy to make the highlights even a little bit lighter. So everything that is already filled with pool gets a little bit of Can2 Cool Candy on it. That makes all these reflections more shiny.
And I like to start always at the edges and let it fade out. Or when I got some round parts, I just do it in the middle of round parts, like here or there, just in the middle. In the middle of the reflection. It is not that much work to do this, but it just gives a little bit of extra power. Thank you, Tuzi. I had so much stress and he was just walking around, super chilled. Six minutes. Six minutes. Ooh. Okay, and the pink pink again. Doing some blinky stars. And my broken halo heart. is Litchi Litchi or Bazooka Joe? No, it's Bazooka Joe What a cool name for a color Bazooka Joe Brilliant And with a little bit of white Pure white we bring in the glow. Just tiny dots. So sad that I didn't find the time for um, reflections, for pink reflections on the blocks. This would have been so much cooler. Uh oh. I wanted to do some crew tags and some designs within the fill in of the letters. But instead, I did a super not necessary um, second outline just here and there. But I was also afraid to mess it up. If you if you just ma don't manage it to make the the um, the designs properly or. I just went the safe way and having some white seconds is always it's 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 a sure shot as long as you don't make them all around the piece if you make seconds all around the piece you will destroy the 3D effect but having them just here and there gives a little bit of extra contrast between the background and the piece, so that the piece pops a little bit more. <coughs> pink, pink. I got the pink, pink.
one hour. Not to forget my tag, Smonova, with a tiny heart on top of it, and two stripes and four dots for the family. I bet that I forgot a block, 100%. I don't know where, oh, but pretty nice, pretty nice for one hour. This was the one hour challenge. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it a little bit as much as I did. Oh, timer. The timer is over now. Here, you can see, I did not lie. Oh. Hundred wrote me a message. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I hope that you liked this uh, one-hour format. Please write down a comment if you want to see more of it, because this is extremely easy to produce content. Maybe the next time we make it with a character, like a graffiti character in just one hour, a b-boy character or something. This might be nice. And um, yeah, there's nothing else to say. Then a big thank to Montana Cans for supporting us with a lot of dope free spray cans. Okay, and my cameraman says that I forgot something. I want to show you, does this make any sense right now? And if you want to see some more details of this nice artwork, here is the final result! And at this point, I want to say a big thanks to my supporters on Patreon, who support me with just five bucks each month to um, be able to make videos like that to provide you the best graffiti content possible. <laughs> A big thanks. You're the best. Okay. I've analyzed this artwork a little bit and there are two things that I would love to change, but I leave it like that. This is the one hour challenge. No, okay, I take two extra minutes to make it better. No, it will stay like this because this is real. <laughs> but I hate, I hate this outline. Look where it goes. It goes down here and it should be continued over there. It needs to go down there and continue there. This angle is totally wrong, extremely wrong. Terrible. It hurts. It really hurts. And uh, over here, I could have made um, a block over there and a little block over there. But this is the only thing that really annoys me. And, and some, some of these um, first lines, like over here and there and um, 
this ones over here they are re they are a little bit annoying as well but but overall overall i have to say i'm super happy with it i'm super happy really i will leave it like that come on let's make a second one <laughs> Or should we make a 10 minutes challenge now? Maybe, maybe 10 minutes challenge and the, um, we make the fill in with this one. Because this is super fast. Okay. However, hope to see you in the next project. Oh, and please don't forget to like the subscribe button. This is something that I forgot to say. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button. And I hope to see you next Saturday in the next project.